Hello, this is Math Ends On with Python. Welcome and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So today we are going to learn on how we can perform the chi-square test for independence. Let's consider this uh, data set, uh, which is the Chile data set. And uh, from this data set, we are going to test the two categorical variables, which are the education, uh, which represent the education level, and the uh, vote which represent the voting intention okay the null hypothesis for this study we consider that there is no association between the education level and the voting intention and the alternative hypothesis is that there is association between education level and the voting intention so now let's implement this into python so as you can see we have uh, two library which we are going to use the pandas library and the bioinfokit.analysis library so from the pandas we import uh, we import this pandas as pd and the uh, from bioinfokit.analysis we import the start function so uh, i have loaded my data uh, as i showed this earlier uh, the chile data in csv format now to start with we start by creating the cross tab uh, for the testing of uh, independence of our two variables. So let's uh, create a cross tab. If you don't know how to create a cross tab, we have the link above. You can click to that link and you can learn more on how you can create the cross tab. So let's print this and see our cross tab. Okay, this is our uh, cross tabulation table and uh, you can see we have the vote at the top and the education here. So we are going to uh, test for independence between these uh, two variables. And to do that, we perform the chi-square test for the independence. And the, we have to call the function which will perform the chi-square test. And that function is the function start. We name the function start as res equal to start and then we perform the chi-square test and uh, we have the data frame and the data frame we take it from the cross tab now we are in a position to print the result for the uh, chi-square test and now let's print that print can see now this is the chi-square test for independence uh, for our variables and uh, you can see the Pearson p-value here is very very small uh, compared to the p-value which we set to be at 0 0.05 uh, and therefore we can conclude that there is a significant association between education level and the voting intention we can also generate or print the expected count or the expected frequency count and to generate that table we have to print uh, the res dot expected underscore df and we can print this one now yes you can see we have the uh, cross tab table here we have the chi square test table and also the final table is the uh, expected frequency counts so basically if you compare the expected frequency counts with the observed frequency count you can see that the frequencies in the expected frequencies are different from the frequencies in the observed counts this means that the two variables involved in our experiments are dependent. So thank you for watching, but don't forget to check and test the assumptions for the chi-square test. Until next time, goodbye. 